You could probably pose this guy for hours on end and never get bored of it. This is the first image that I had in my head is just him looking over the cape like that. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and today I'll be taking a look at my very first Mafex action figure. From Metacom Toys, we have the DC Batman Hush. As you can see in package, he looks absolutely epic. I was really excited when I had the opportunity to pick this up, because after seeing so many reviews, how could I possibly miss out? But look at that. Absolutely cool product shots of the figure that you have here. And of course, it says Hush Batman on the side. It looks absolutely sweet. There is a bottom and of course, the little holographic Metacom Toys official sticker. So you know you got the legit one. Another product shot of Hush Batman on the side. And on the back, you're treated to more poses of your action figure that you're going to get inside. Again, this is my first Mafex. So... Can't wait to check him out, put him in a few poses, and see what this guy can do. When you open the box, you're greeted with a pretty cool insert. I don't know if I can get the angle right in there so you guys can see it on camera. There you go. But you can see that cool Jim Lee art on the inside. It looks absolutely epic. And Batman actually comes in this little tray, and you can see all these accessories. And also the stand that comes on the back, which I do appreciate that. The stand that comes in the package just has three little spots here. It looks like we just pop this in. I don't think it matters which way around it goes. And then, of course, this piece will pop in on the top. And we'll see how that works. Boom! Batman is out of the package. As you can see, he looks super cool. I just quickly slapped together his cape because this is the first image that i had in my head is just him looking over the cape like that and you know what he can actually do it i did this in literally seconds before i put him in some more poses let me just quickly go over his accessories you can see all the different hands that he comes with let me get the light a little bit better here you can see this right here he comes with one of these like grapple hook shooting accessories he has another one here it's on like a really long wire, as you can see, and it's nice and tough, so I will display him with that also. He does come with uh, two batarangs, which are identical, and he also comes with these two batarangs, which are identical. He comes with two extra heads, one for Bruce Wayne, which looks absolutely incredible, and one for Angry Bats, which... I absolutely love that head. That looks super cool. You can see the teeth in there and everything. But awesome job. This is, so far, just by moving his arms and stuff, one of the most high-quality figures I've ever seen. Check it out. They come with these little stands for the hands. That's super cool. He's got open hands. He's got some grabbing hands. He's got some cool fighting spiked fist hands, which looks super cool. He's got more grabbing hands. He's got a pair of fists, and he's got his grappling hook accessories, which those are even highly detailed. Super cool. Now that we've had a look at some of the accessories, let me pull him up close and give you guys a close-up look at that. But you can see how easily the cape maneuvers, and of course you can spin him around and see how big that is. But it, it just droops absolutely everywhere. Let's go ahead and flick this back and take a look i mean you don't even have to pose this guy and he looks incredible doesn't he just crazy but right off the bat you can see the amazing paint job on here with all the dark gray that gives him an amazing comic style there is a little lift on the boot on the sculpt the bottom of his boots look super cool and he just moves super, super smooth like a Rubik's Cube. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely incredible. The chest piece is molded on too. And it's just dented in and painted, it looks like. But I absolutely love this figure for sure, man. No doubt. I mean, look how just slightly moving him. How amazing he looks. Just insane. There's four wires there's one wire right here there's another wire in the back 
There's another wire right here too, right here. So let's see how. easily we can pose this guy. But look, just like that, you don't even have to do nothing and this guy is gonna look super cool. Absolutely epic. As far as articulation, yeah, look at bats. Look how much he can crunch and put this leg up. Absolutely insane, look at that. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to have a blast with this. Look at the joints. It's all on a ball. Man, that's just insanity, isn't it? My neck right here looks like it's not quite right. Oh, it pops out pretty easy. You can see the little ball peg in there. Put that back on. Turn that the right way. But yeah, that is so cool. Flip up his cape. Again, the detail goes all the way through. Look at the muscles on the back. It's just crazy. And you can see the massive butterfly joints in there. But, man, you just don't have to do too much with this, do you? Let's go ahead and take that head off. Take a look at Bruce's. There he is. It's Bruce Wayne. Looks really, really good. Fantastic. Let's take a look at the other head. Oh, I guess this one, you have to use the neck peg. So yeah, that pops off there. It's kind of bent. I hope they all are bent like that. Just pops right in. And there you have a very angry Batman. Absolutely cool. So cool. As for the hands, they come off extremely easy. I'm gonna put these uh, bat shooters on. Looks like you just unpeg it, very simple. Peg it in on the top. Oh yeah, and they just articulate any which way you want. This right here, and we just peg it in on the top. As you can see, absolutely cool. I can see myself having a lot of fun with this figure, no doubt. And you know what I really like about it the most? You can see it's shooting across, but yeah. What I like the most is this is a Todd McFarlane Batman. And I loved how Jim Lee stayed true to the TV series, which is cool. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and take that off. Now this one here probably pops in the same way, so you can take a picture with him. Uh, just shooting it across. And that cape actually helps me prop it against the wall there. Looks really cool. Let's go ahead and try to put them on the stand. But yeah, you get the general idea. You can definitely swoop in. Yeah, super cool. You could probably pose this guy for hours on end and never get bored of it, but I'm not the greatest poser in the world, but this guy is so smooth, just like a Rubik's Cube, and I am not joking when it comes to that. I cannot wait to get more Mafex figures. They are definitely going to be high priority on my list. That is Batman all day super super cool and I do want to find his uh, battering hand really quick it's like these ones here will hold the battering so let's just pop this in put this in his hand looks like there's several ways he can do it actually it looks better like that 
pop out this hand. As you can see, look how easy that is compared to like SH figure arts. It's just incredible. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking like this. But yeah, that looks cool too. For size comparison, here he is next to a Black Series Mandalorian. So not too bad. And here he is next to a recently reviewed SH Figure Arts. Very cool. Very cool. So overall, my thoughts on this figure is that he's absolutely epic. If you ever get your chance on getting your hands on one of these, I would highly recommend it. I really hope I get the opportunity to get Superman one day. And let me know in the comments below if they make a Spider-Man. And until the next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.